Hi everyone, welcome back to Aphrodite Mininel Tarot. Thanks very much for joining our channel today. It is very much appreciated. Just want to say thank you to everybody who has liked, shared and subscribed to the channel. Thank you so much for your support. And thank you for those that have sent back um, feedback on their emails. It's all been very positive. If you want a personal reading, we're still running the five questions for $50. Um, just shoot us through an email with all your questions or the details and we'll, we'll get back to you. All right, we're just going to get one more. This is a Scorpio reading, so please only take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't make the story fit if it's not your story. Sometimes I do say he or she, sometimes the story might be vice versa. All right, Scorpio, feels like you're not feeling safe, okay? Um... You may be going through some sort of insecurity right now or not feeling secure within a, a relationship maybe um or something something's disturbed your peace scorpio you're not easily disturbed <laughs> all right so scorpio not feeling safe change of mind insecurity your next card says um you were not getting uh what what you deserve the loss is irre irreparable sorry i'm having trouble reading this okay um there seems to be some sort of theft robbery lost mm. or maybe a lawsuit all right there are problems in the relationship the person you you care about is uh wasting your time this one here says a great opportunity for a new relationship to come through or an old one. And the last card you have is everything you know is true. Wisdom, intellect, knowledge, experience, new ideas. You got success coming in. All right, some of you may be going through some sort of separation or divorce. That's why the lawsuit is there and maybe you're feeling that, that um, you're going to be a little bit insecure because you're not going to have as much as what you've got now. The other side of this is that you're not feeling secure within your relationship, a job or um, a home that you're living in. And, you know, you're thinking of making the changes, but there's a little bit of insecurity whether you can make those changes or not. You know, are you going to be, are you going to be up to the, the challenge of standing on your own two feet and doing it all on your own? okay and but for some of you you're in a relationship that you're not getting what you want out of it okay um there are problems within this relationship and it could be could be for many reasons um usually one of the biggest reasons is financial and the second one is that the, there is possibly a third party um but there is an opportunity for you to have a new relationship that is coming in or you may be able to fix the relationship that you're currently in okay um i feel like somebody is trying to control the direction that this situation is going to go to but whatever it is scorpio you need to trust your gut because everything that you know is true because you're full of wisdom, you're full of knowledge, you're full of, you know, intuition. Intuition is your biggest guide, Scorpio. So, you know, um, go with your gut on this. Don't don't procrastinate about it, you know. The thing is that, Scorpio, is probably you need to speak your truth here, okay. Because there might be a third party. There might be a third party, okay. Um... But somebody is certainly making you, someone or something is making you feel very insecure. And it's not like you, Scorpio. You always, um, you know, got a plan A, plan B, plan C, plan D, you know. There's always um, a rope for you to hang on to. So what is making you feel insecure? Well, you're going to find out very, very soon because there's going to be communication, okay, um, coming in very, very quickly. But also the fact that you might be traveling Scorpio I feel like that what 
I saw the equal give and take card, but sometimes that equal give and take card means that there isn't enough equal give and take in, in the relationship that you're currently in. Okay, somebody might be giving more to to others than, than to you. Yeah. Well, for some of you, there is a court decision. There seems to be some sort of um, collaboration that's going on. And for others, that somebody wants to meet up with you. Somebody wants to have a conversation. Somebody maybe wants to clear the air with you about certain things you and this person may be going somewhere and sitting down and having a a, a a talk okay just to clear the air yeah, yeah well I, I feel like this person also knows that there's problems happening or going to happen um, they may be the ones that be uh, creating the problem yeah, Scorpio. So, you know, I feel like that there's going to be a decision made here, Scorpio, whether, you know, you're going to move on from this situation or how it's going to move forward, okay? Um, for some of you, you, you just want to end this and you, you'd like to meet somebody new. You'd like to, you know, have something new or something fresh or tell this person, you know, we need more we need to do more in this relationship it can't be the way that it is okay especially when you're the offer that you're receiving is basically something that you could receive from anybody there's no greatness about it okay so you're going to give this person a cause to think Scorpio because um while you're away or, or if you're traveling, if you're going somewhere or if there's a, a sense of distance or separation, this person is thinking, Scorpio. Yeah, there seems to be travel. This person is thinking, maybe both of you are taking some time out, distancing yourself from each other to, to think about what decision to make about this, okay? Um, because you can't keep doing things like if you're supposed to be in a partnership so you're supposed to be doing things together and i feel like that you're not doing things together this person is doing things with other people or maybe the reason why they're doing that is because you are in a in a um three-way relationship here so maybe they're giving more time and attention to to that person person needs to make a decision regarding you know the past they have memories they have memories and they need to make a decision on which way they want to move forward okay yeah. somebody's wounded here Scorpio somebody's wounded like you know they want to give this another opportunity they want to oh sorry that was loud they want to give this another opportunity you know they're wounded they're wounded but they keep thinking about you Scorpio you know, I think too that um, they're thinking, why didn't they give you the opportunity in the past? Why didn't they choose you? What What was the reason why they didn't choose you? Okay, because it looks like they chose somebody else. There's a lot of people involved in this situation. Yeah, this person's at a crossroad. This person is at a crossroad to why they made certain decisions in their past, okay? Um, I do feel that they, they've they allowed a lot of people to interfere in their life. They've got a lot of superficial friends that give them time and attention. And um, the only time and attention they should be seeking is from you, Scorpio, because you're, you're the one true friend. You're the one true love, okay? Um, a lot of people come into this person's life, but they don't stay you know what this person doesn't realize too is that um and i've said it before there are three types of people you will meet along your way and one of them are, are called the leaf people they come into your life they give you attention you know and they they um you know they call you up and whatever and then as soon as the wind blows they're gone okay then there's the, the branch people. They're the people that try and hang on to you, try and, you know, have a part 
you know in your in your life or that they they have a journey with you till a certain amount of time until that branch will break and then you've got the root people the root people come into your life they're meant to be there their family they they're the closest friends that you have they're the the one that you're married to you know they they're the ones that build the roots for you okay and that gives you the stability in your life they they keep things stable in your life this people this person has a lot of leaf people in their life and uh, people with branches but people that will give them roots there's not there's not many okay there's not many of them so I do feel that you know time apart is going to cause you to to think about a situation and I, I do believe that this person is thinking back on the past why didn't I give Scorpio the commitment that they deserved okay so I feel like you too, Scorpio, are sort of like stepping back and looking at things at a different perspective and wondering, is this what I deserve in life? You know, um, I can do so much better. Am I being held back? Um, I love this person, but they're not going to give me what, what I want. Um, some of you are watching this person from the sideline, enjoying life with everybody else. Okay. Well, what's coming for you, Scorpio, is a lot of happiness and a lot of commitment. Okay, sorry. A victory. A victory and the Ten of Cups. So I feel like this person wants to have a conversation with you in time to try and heal a situation between the two of you. Okay? I do feel that they, they want to make changes because they have been sort of like doing some self-reflection and there is a lot of change coming. If this person was committed to somebody else, they've been indecisive for a long period of time, but I feel like that now, this time apart, is is giving them reason, okay? And I feel like they really do miss you, Scorpio. They, they miss you not being there. They're around all these people that are trying to control them and, um, you know, they miss your presence, Scorpio, because your energy, when you're with this person, it's it's different, okay? They they talk to you, you know, used to have beautiful conversations, laughter, but there was a big piece missing out of all this, okay? And I feel like it really did hurt you, Scorpio. But we have strength. I feel like while this person is away, um, they may come up with a serious plan because they're trying to balance out their finances as well. It's got something to do with finances, Scorpio. But um, I do feel that um, whatever decision they're going to make, I think that they were trying to stabilize their finances. But this person knows that they can have everything with you, Scorpio. You're coming in as the Empress. The Emperor it doesn't really matter. Um, there's, you're the wish fulfillment, Scorpio. This person may have been somewhere else because of finances. Or with somebody else because of finances. Okay. But it's it's indicating to me that somebody has a plan. Has a plan to give you equal give and take. Whereas they know that they haven't been giving you equal give and take. It's a matter of communication that's going to come through. Um, they're hoping, yeah... thing here, Scorpio, is you're tired of waiting. You're tired of waiting. And I feel like that, you know, you want to speak some truth, but you don't want to end up in a heartache. Um, I do feel that this person has you and somebody else in, in their life. You're coming in as the Empress. The star card could indicate that um, there's a, an Aquarius or an air sign in their life. Their wish is to be with you, Scorpio. Um, but they know you're heartbroken. They know that there's something going on in that mind of yours. You're very quiet. You're very silent. You're keeping things to yourself, okay? Um, which is, in a way, Scorpio, I wouldn't recommend it because things bottle up and you have a tendency to explode. But um, truth is that this person is really emotionally connected to you, okay? The love is for you. And they know that. They know, like, the truth. They know, they can, they see things very, very clearly. 
and they know what they're doing. They're not, they're not silly. But I feel like that there's a fear of making change, Scorpio. So somebody's coming in to apologize to you. They want to have a conversation with you, Scorpio. They want to offer you a passionate new beginning with the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands here. Okay. They want to, they know where their success lies and they want to invest in you. So somebody is going to walk away, Scorpio. All right. Once they walk away from whatever it is that's holding them back, they will come in with an offer. And I feel like they're just hoping that you're still single, that somebody's putting something to an end, okay, and going through transformation and taking control of their life. Whatever they were hiding from you, Scorpio, they will reveal it to you, okay? I feel like that, um, you know, something is ending and this person is coming back from travel or you're coming back from travel and they just want to move forward. So whatever plan they've got, Scorpio, um, they're going to put that into action and they're going to be able to move forward and speak with you. Okay, there you go. Ace of Pentacles, releasing a heavy burden. All right. This person is just waiting to have all the tools um, to be able to, to make you an offer. But the truth is that they already got the tools because the only thing you need, Scorpio, is a person that's emotionally available, somebody who is not connected to anybody else and somebody that will love you and accept you for who you are. And I feel like this person did not choose you from who they chose because um, maybe you were different. Maybe you were different right? because, you know, intuitive people are different. And, um, you know, they kind of thought that you would not, um, you would not mix with these, these people. But these people that they're worried about, they're all superficial. They're all superficial to, to them. You're the real deal, Scorpio. So somebody is trying to, um, you know, recover this situation. There's, there's a recovery period. Okay. So some, some of you may be just recovering like, you know, through a heartache or maybe you've been not well, but there's a recovery period coming in. But I also feel for the storyline that this person is trying to recover. Okay. So it will be perfect timing when this person comes in. Okay. So you've got the card of wait. Wait. Don't cut anything off right now. Okay. Yeah, within the next few months. Within the next few months, somebody's going to make a decision. I believe if you believe that this is the person you're meant to be with, then believe it, Scorpio, because somebody within the next few months is going to make a decision. And uh, it will be perfect timing by the time this person comes back in because you will know exactly what you want, Scorpio. So within the next few months, you know, if this person comes back into your life, you're, you're going to speak up and, and you're going to say, it's either going to go yes or no, because, um, you know, if you're going to give me the commitment, I don't want every Tom, Dick and Harry involved in this situation with us. Okay. I feel like that you want the relationship between you and this person and, and the family. You don't need all this attention, Scorpio, whereas this person needs attention. Okay. So communicate clearly exactly what you want, Scorpio, because uh, if you wait, there's an opportunity that is going to come in. Now, if it's not this person, it is going to be a new person, and there's a yes on that. Can you see that? There's a yes on that, okay? So give it a few more months, Scorpio, okay? And, um, yeah, a year from now, your life is going to be different, but it is going to be up to you, but, you know, you should remain possible. Um, remain positive there is a peaceful resolution okay it's also telling you to look for a sign I feel like you and this person will come to some sort of compromise there's another yes on this no matter how I open it oh, I know you can't see it but it came out like that yes compromise okay so um, like I said it is going to be up to you so look for a sign, Scorpio. It may come through a song, it may come through a dream, okay? Again, I've got the card of compromise. You need to get more information. For some of you, you need to get more information, okay? Um, but I feel like that this, this time apart 
is is really the universe working in your favor even though you feel you feel left out you feel left out in the cold you feel like you know um somebody's just an opportunist yeah but this person has fears also scorpio and i think they fear if they, you know, walk away from what they perceive to be stability, that they would not find that again. But, you know, Scorpio, you're all about stability. Okay, you are. And when you have the right partner that works with you, you can, you can create miracles. Okay, um, so you're always somebody that wants to move forward, always someone that wants to look ahead, always somebody that wants to make changes. Okay, and just bear in mind, Scorpio, um, that you're all about death and transformation. So whenever you enter somebody's life, that person needs to be prepared for a change. Okay. And um, you just, what, whatever you do, Scorpio, whatever decision you make is always like, you take your time to make that decision. You don't, you don't rush, you know, you have been spontaneous only for yourself as long as it doesn't affect others. But Sometimes some of the changes that you make, Scorpio, it really does affect other people. Okay, so that's why you're very careful with the change. So even though you're a fixed sign, you don't mind knowing new things or going on journeys, you know, or, you know, taking a, a leap of faith, okay? Um, because once upon a time, when there was only, you know, 11 planets and the 12th planet came out, um, Scorpio used to be a, um, a fire sign. So when the 12th planet Earth came out and it was Sagittarius, they moved Scorpio back to a water sign. So you have this, you know, water fire, water fire, water fire, you know. Yeah, I'm going to burn the candle at both ends and then I'm going to relax. Okay. <laughs> so it's, it's pretty much like that. So um, this is why... Scorpio, you're able to mingle with people from all walks of life, okay? Um, people just love your presence, Scorpio. There's no doubt about it that people just love your presence. But you're dealing with somebody that had a lot of fears, um, has a lot of regret from their past actions towards you. Um, they know that they're keeping you stuck. They know that they have to, you know, offer you something, Scorpio. But... For those of you that don't want anything to do with this person anymore, you have an opportunity that is coming in, a door that is opening for you. Also in the workplace, there's going to be something um, coming in, whether it's a new job or whether it's um, a lot of, just a lot of work that's creating a lot of heavy burdens for you, okay? Contracts are coming in, things are changing in the workplace, just busy, 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 okay? So I do feel that... Um, in this area here where it's workplace, you need to stay in your logical thinking, okay? Um, for those of you that um, it's not in the workplace, well, there's an opportunity that is coming in for a new person that's going to release a heavy bur uh, burden. This is new love. This is desire. This is, you know, something new that is coming in for you after a heartache, okay? But for a lot of you, you're going to walk away and you're just going to keep walking towards something better. So, Scorpio, um, for those of you that are waiting on communication from this person, somebody maybe that just um, has gone away and you haven't heard from them, um, yeah, they're doing a lot of um, reflection here, yeah, Scorpio, and they, they're thinking, they're thinking about you, they're thinking about things, they're looking at the people that are around them, they realise how much control these people have over the over them and I feel like this person is going to make a plan to communicate with you and possibly you know um, organize some time uh, alone somewhere could be just two days three days but you could be traveling with this person for two or three days just so there's no interruptions and they can they can talk to you okay all right, Scorpio, I wish you all the best and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye for now.